Meanwhile, as a proof to the contrary, as proof that uh, you can actually commit to changing your behaviors, Ethan Ralph, still sober from my understanding, uh, just had a wonderful vacation in Cancun with a young Mexican uh, Pensuet Pensuela. <laughs> and uh, now that he's grounded back in reality and uh, back from his vacation, he has decided to um, uh, give some uh, give some learned advice to young men out there uh, over his court dealings uh, with his his ex wife. The United States is no country for grown men, particularly not a country for grown white men. They have a setup there where you can actually be forbidden from speaking about your own children online. You can be forbidden from seeing them without a court order. Women can take your child away from you without any recourse whatsoever, keep you out of their lives as long as they deem fit. And guess what? You'll be on the hook to pay them for 18 fucking years. The whole thing is a scam. Child support is a scam. The women don't spend it on the children in the first place. The whole thing is an absolute joke. The country is just about beyond repair, if you want to know the truth. And if you're a man and you're buying into that system in the United States, I'm here to tell you you're buying into a failure. It's not like that everywhere. It's damn sure not like that here in Mexico where I have been rejuvenated in a way that I didn't think possible. And it's all because I got out of that hellhole of the United States where you think you have free speech. Well, I got news for you. You don't fucking have free speech. They can and will restrict the topics you can talk about online, and they've done it to me, the motherfucker you're looking at right now. The United States is no country for a man. It's set up for women. It's set up for thoughts. It's set up for whores. And if you have any money, you have any capability, you should get the fuck up out of there. That's my true opinion. Now, I'll be a little late today because I have something to attend to in the afternoon. So I'll see you tonight. One can only imagine what he has to attend to after a rousing speech like that. Um, I have... Res I'm not sure. Wait, let me check something real quick before I say this, because I don't want to don't get this wrong. Um. Okay, so Ralph did have a, a court hearing, and one of the things that uh, was in dispute was that May requested a two-year. Uh, per, what they call a permanent uh, restraining order or a permanent injunction. So in New York, the longest that a, a restraining order can last is two years. They call that permanent, uh, even though it's not permanent, it's whatever. Um, and Ralph was open to this because the terms were basically like, you can't talk about May, you can't talk about the kid, you can't um, uh, follow her in person, you can't talk to anyone to have them talk to her for you, so on and so forth, typical restraining order shit. And um, he was amenable to this and offered to take it. However, his public defender cautioned him against that because she believed from her experience in family law that the purpose of re receiving the maximum possible penalty regarding um, a, a restraining order would be to use that in civil court. Because it looks, especially these these things in in law tend to, to snowball. Like for instance, with Liz Fong Jones, when Liz Fong Jones received a default order against Vinny in Australia, he since used that default order to try and uh, lie and falsely indicate that there is some matter of law or fact that has been settled that the Kiwi Farms is illegal to host, uh, which is not the case. So when you lose a little bit in court, uh, it adds up to a lot over time because when you take that and then reapply it in later litigation, uh, it looks really bad. So what, presumably what his attorney believes is that um, sh uh, she is trying to get these injunctions, not because there's any threat of Ralph in Mexico showing up to her house in New York, but rather that getting a permanent injunction would then be a stepping stone towards getting uh, a larger mon and more restrictive 
reward in civil court for the divorce. Uh, so he did not take that offer for just to get it done, get it over with a, a permanent injunction. And it only lasts until May, uh, ironically, because of her name. So that's the Ralph update. Uh, interesting, interesting developments in the legal world chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.